Hello to all our viewers out there. This is Javel from Genius Car Professionals. And today we got a 2006 Dodge Caravan with a 3.3 motor V6. And it's in for a couple things today. It's in for state admission inspection, which is expired, and also the check engine light is on. And uh, it's in for two codes on the check engine light. We've got P0301, which is cylinder one misfire, and P0420, which is catalyst efficiency below threshold bank one. And uh, we also noticed that this car has 150,000 miles on it, and it doesn't look like it had much maintenance done to it. And in many ways that we noticed it hasn't had maintenance done is, is because of these two reasons, multiple reasons actually. These spark plug wires say 2006 on it. And what that means is that these are possibly the original wires that came with the car from factory production, 2006 on them. And upon doing these wires, possibly these spark plugs are original too. And if you can see them correctly, they're very rusty at the same time. Um, we also noticed a couple other things. We noticed that on the battery right here, this terminal was loose. Looks like somebody didn't tighten up this all the way. It also got corrosion right over here. We took a quick of the fluids. We noticed that the brake fluid is very dark. It looked like it never been changed out. And that can cause problems too. Um, power steering fluid. Uh, it's up to level. A um, couple other things we noticed. What we're going to go into is what the check engine light's on for. Because check engine light needs to be fixed for this car to pass emissions. So we're going to go in and pull the codes. And if you come over here, we got the scan tool set up right here. And get up in here. And uh, let's find out what codes we got right here. All right, cool. We got P0420, which is catalyst efficiency below threshold bank one, and the cylinder one misfire detected. And during the freeze frame, we see that cylinder one misfire. And if you can see, a coolant temperature at the time was 36 degrees Fahrenheit. The long term temperature was 7.8%. Um, and the car was running at 287 revolutions per minute. The same thing as RPM. Um, and it was going zero miles per hour. So it probably was misfiring upon startup or very low, um, very low RPM. Um, so we're going to look at this a different way today. We're actually going to go, go back under the hood and we're going to check this car for spark and, and for uh, demonstration purposes we also have the emission hose on this car so that we're not letting a lot of uh, smoke inside this building and it's exhausting out the outside and it's cold outside, very cold outside, 10 degrees right now. So, we got this car started up running right now as you see. And Right here, I have a, a spark tester, which in real time will check the voltage coming from the coil from this light and also the spark of the spark plug firing at the same time. This is a very convenient tool because it allows you to check the spark without hooking up an inline spark tester or doing it old school way, which is hooking up a screwdriver into the spark plug wire and let it ground out to see if you got spark. So let's, let's try it out. So right now as you see, when you're getting both of these lights lighted at the same time, that lets you know that you got good voltage and good spark at the same time. Right now, and the way this car is running, and usually sometimes I like to put my hand on the motor to kind of feel it and feel how much vibration, how much shake I have in it. It's telling me the condition of how the car is running. But as I remove this wire up, and the closer you get to it, it lets you know if you got sparks. And right now, all these cylinders are firing. So that misfire is an intermittent misfire. And uh, our solution to this problem today is we're going to go ahead and give it the maintenance that the car needs, which is replacing the spark plugs and wires, 
because they're very old and those spark plugs are probably worn out and when they get worn out the spark plug gap gets increased and I'm going to show you what the spark plug gap looks like got one right here the spark plug gap gets increased and the spark plug gap is right in between here this little space in between that electrode and the and this tip right here and as the spark plug wears down this wears down more and more that little tip of the inside it wears down more and more and the spark has to jump across the greater distance and when it has to jump across the greater distance what that does is it tells the coil which is right in here and on this car we got a coil pack it's right here it has to work a little bit harder to jump across a, a wider gap in the spark plug itself so we're going to go ahead and we're going to change these spark plugs and wires out and we're also going to change this coil at the same time as per request from the customer because that coil is probably worn out from jumping across these plugs for such a long time and at the same time the code from the catalyst of crispy below threshold code came from this car misfired for such a long time that too much fuel was entering, entering their exhaust and causing damage to the converter. And we can show that a couple different ways right now. So, we're going to go in here to the computer again. What we're going to do is we're going to read. The O2 sensor is right here. So we got this one. And we got this one. And these two ones, the red one right here, is the actual pre catalyst O2 sensor. And, and the uh, blue one is the post catalyst O2 sensor. And as you see, if you look at this very closely, in this graph, we can see, let me get rid of this actuation, we can see that these basically, these two sensors are mimicking each other in direct correlation. So there's no real change in the difference between these two sensors. And you're supposed to have a change, like there should be at least a, a delay in the oxygen storage capacity of the O2 sensors. And what we're going to do right now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rev it up just a little bit. Let's get a little rev. And right now the car is misfiring when it gets revved up. And that's what you hear in the motor. But at the same time, we see these O2 sensors are staying the same. And what that shows you is that the catalytic converter is not working at all. It's not storing none of the oxygen inside the um, capacity inside the motor. So that catalytic converter is completely burnt out. And we also can smell a whole lot of unburnt, unburnt fuel. And that's coming from the spark plugs not getting enough spark inside the cylinders to atomize all the fuel that's available. So what this car needs is spark plugs and wires and a coil and a new catalytic converter. And this is another video brought to you by GM Star Professionals. We're out.